All right, cadets, here we are back for our next installment, Camouflage Utility Uniform, working on the trousers. Now, before I get started on my trousers, I'm gonna make sure I refill my iron with water because if I run low of water and I don't have any steam, then I'm gonna run the risk of burning my utility uniform, especially if I'm pressing my Charlie's, uh, my service uniforms, I'm gonna run out of water, I'm gonna burn something. I'm gonna make sure that I got my steam already and I got it up on high cotton and I'm ready to go. Now, you, may find it a bit difficult to manipulate the material on your trousers because there's a lot more elastic in the waistband and in the pockets. So the first thing I do is I actually iron the waistband and the upper pockets first. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the smaller end of my ironing board. I'm gonna make sure all my pockets on the inside are nice and flat and out of the way. I'm gonna iron the butt first. So I'm gonna reach in, I'm smoothing out the iron. I'm sorry, I'm smoothing out the pocket so that I can iron the material flat. And I'm only gonna work on this area right here, all right? Now, I can go ahead if my pocket is smooth and iron over that pocket. You won't really, because there's a lot of material here and it's really, really thick, and you're not gonna get a lot of a shine and you're probably not gonna get a burn mark from the pocket. So like my blouse, like my cover, I'm gonna steam the wrinkles out. I'm gonna take above the pocket and I'm gonna stretch the elastic out. I'm gonna iron the wrinkles out of my waistband. Steam, steam, I haven't put, clicked it on dry yet. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my towel underneath my pocket, same way I did on my sleeves on my blouse and steam it, and then click it on dry, and then dry it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other butt, other side of the butt. So once I got my butt cheeks done, steam, I'm gonna dry them out a little bit, and I'm ready to go. From here, I'm moving to the front side of my waistline. Now, these pockets, you have to make sure they're nice and flat and smooth all the way down. So run your hand down on the inside, Run your hand into that pocket. Here's where you gotta be cautious. These have a pleated waistline. So there's a pleat running from your top down to where you're, and it's gonna blend into your crease. Here's what I do. I'll iron that pleat into the black, I'm sorry, the trousers, just above my cargo pocket and probably about the bottom of my pocket. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna smooth everything out nice and flat. I've already got my pockets flat. And I'm going to steam that pleat into the material. Like my blouse, I'm stretching and manipulating and moving that material around to get it nice and flat. Click it on dry, and I'm drying that waistline. You're going to do the same thing for the other butt cheek. You're going to do the same thing for the other side of the front of your waistline. So I will do the front here. I'm gonna iron this side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the front side. I'm gonna do the same thing with the pleat. Once I got the entire upper portion above my cargo pocket done, then I'm gonna focus on what most people are gonna see when I'm wearing my uniform, and that's from the cargo pocket down. Most of your camis, depending on the manufacturer, should already have a pre-built crease into your camis. If someone else has already ironed a crease into your camis, then you gotta be careful and use the, the more prominent one and then uh, go over it. Here, instead of pushing my pockets flat, I'm pulling them out of the way. So I'm gonna take that pocket, I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna let it hang over here so that it doesn't get in the way. I'm gonna do the same thing with my front pocket. I'm gonna pull it out of the way and I'm gonna let it hang. I'm gonna work around the cargo pocket first. So I'm gonna take my creases that are pre-built, and I'm gonna line them up nice and flat, nice and smooth. I don't want that crease showing on the top here and then run another iron mark down beside it and get a double crease. So me, personally, I will work from the cargo pocket down and then work around the cargo pocket. 
most of your trousers are tapered. So you gotta do it section by section by section by section because it's not a flat pair of khakis that, uh, that you get off the shelf at Kohl's. Like always, click it on steam. I'm gonna steam out all the wrinkles. Once I've got that section done, I click it on dry. I'm drying that section. I'm working the back side of the trousers first. From here, I'm gonna pull the material up as far as I can, that pocket's out of the way. Now, I'm gonna make sure my button's unbuttoned. I'm gonna go ahead and iron around that cargo pocket, steam it, dry it. Again, making sure that my crease is perfect. Now here's where it gets a little bit difficult, ironing your cargo pocket, because you've got an elastic band here that's gonna draw all that material up on the side. I do a section at a time. So I'm gonna pull that flap out of the way, I'm going to get that iron up underneath here. Once that's nice and smooth, then I'll pull that material flat. I'll smooth out that second one. Now I'm ironing both of them. Then I'm going to pull that third one out, being careful that all the material underneath here is flat and pulled tight. Otherwise, it's going to show through. Now that I got all three of those done, then I'm going to start working on the front side of the blouse. As you work, try Click it on dry, dry it flat. You can go all the way up underneath here. You can iron the elastic. It's not gonna hurt it. Click it on steam, iron it flat. Click on dry, iron it flat. Don't worry about the cargo pocket flat because we will get to that in a second. Ensure that the iron, the entire time you're ironing your cargo pocket flat, that you're not adding any more wrinkles or double creases to the sections you've already done. Boom, now I'm gonna worry about the front. Pulling the material kind of angled because it's tapered, you can see it comes down at a point. I've already got this smooth, but I need to pull this flat. So I'm just gonna angle a little bit. Like your elbow pads, in your blouse, you've got knee pads in your trousers. So you're gonna have to make sure you reach up underneath here and ensure that that pocket for those knee pads is nice and smooth and nice and flat. Sometimes if you get a less than desirable manufacturer and you are having a very difficult time with the knees, what I have done in the past is I've turned my trousers inside out and I've ironed those knee pads flat from the inside, then put it right back on the, uh, I'm sorry, right side out, I should say, and then iron my knees. So again, I'm going section at a time. Always conscious of where my creases are. Do not put two creases into your trousers. Click it on dry. You're gonna need to pay a little bit more, I'm sorry, spend a little bit more time on that knee because when you steam through, there's like triple decker layers of fabric in order to protect your knees and to keep the camouflage utility uniforms durable and intact. So you'll have to dry it a little bit longer here. Now that I got my knees done, I'm gonna move up. That pleat that I ironed in up to mid pocket, now I'm opening it back up so that that crease runs down the middle. Pull your front pocket out of the way. Any material, any crotch material that's overlapping, get it out of the way so that you can iron it flat. So there's my crease. All the material is up from here forward. I've already ironed that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron the front and that front last flat of my pocket. I'm sorry, my cargo pocket. Click on dry, 
This section right here is going to be the most seen portion of your trousers. You got to make sure your creases are tight. Tight, tight, tight. All right, last thing I'm going to do for my trousers. I'm going to do the same thing for my cargo pocket that I did in my rear end pocket. And that's take my towel, smooth it out flat. I'm going to stick it up underneath. I'm going to iron my cargo pocket flat. Put it on steam. Put it on dry. And there you go. Done, sir, done. Freeze, cadet, freeze. There's my trousers. Once I get done, I'm going to take a look at them. If there's any portion of those trousers that need to be touched up, then I'm going to go back and iron them a little bit, steam it a little bit, dry it a little bit, and then we're ready to go. You're going to do the other side on your own. There's your camouflage utility trousers. So this completes our camouflage utility pressing segment. And your next segment, you will learn how to steam and press your service uniforms. Okay, I appreciate it.